Go for it. I had to race home that last half mile to get into this musical discussion because my favorite musical of all times was West Side Story. When you're a jet, you're a jet free of life. From your first cigarette to your last dying breath. But then along came Paint Your Wagon with Lee Marvin and Clint Eastwood singing. That became my number one musical. And as for a little bit of irony, the West Side Story, Maria, Maria, I just met a girl named Maria. Now you tell me that the weather weapons weren't used to send Maria to Puerto Rico intentionally. <laughs> Oh, interesting. Nope. Nope. Uh, that's 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 Baj. I love it. <laughs> Let me ask you this, Mr. Purple Tie, real quick. With what is why do you like musicals? What is there about them that appeals to you? Uh, I actually don't like musicals at all, but West Side Story and Paint Your Wagon. I mean, like I said, they spark great appreciation for goals. And I did want to mention to Lady uh, Lady RBW there. Uh, WB. One, <laughs> Red, white, and blue. RWB. RWB. You're RWB. fired. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will pick up my severance pay. I will pick up my severance pay. But yes, you forgot Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. Oh that my gosh. Good. Yes. I love that. Oh, one. I loved that one. Yeah, I love too, it too. Believe it or not. I, 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 seven bri seven actors and seven actresses. It had to be a great one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, on a couple of serious notes, I sent a, a Twitter to uh, Chano and the morning show here about the Iranian people, the patriots there. They are gathering. They are working very hard to bring down their own house of cards in their country. It's about a two and a half minute video, but it is awesome. It, it was actually produced in the uh, Iranian language, but it's all translated to where... You're welcome. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you, if you could, if you could find that clip, it is awesome because they are the tactics that Antifa are using here. They are training over there for the disruptions and the window smashings, yada yada yada. They are ready when we decide as the u.s are going to take down the mullahs there that their patriots are going to be with us and basically that's that's their game plan is they're waiting for us to make our moves so that they can make their move so that they can get their country back the way it used to be and that's my two cents that's a good two cents thank you we'll put it in a kitty <laughs> So, Mr. Purple Tie, what is your take, just real quick, what is your take on um, on John Kerry and Obama working behind the scenes with Iran recently? Uh, the whole plan or scam there was to, so those pallets of money, as we know, it went over in separate planes and the helicopter. Their, their whole plan there was to shovel off tons of cash to the, themselves. That's That's what the whole deal there was. They could care less if we went to war. In fact, they wanted us to go to war with Iran. The whole scam was, oh, let's send them tons and tons and tons of cash, and we'll only take a you know, few thousand pounds off of it. Could not agree more. Could not agree more. Yeah, these people are sick, man. And they don't give a crap about us. Anybody, for that matter, oh, yeah. except for their, their power. They want their power back. Yep. Here, dead Indeed. air. Yep. You want me no, to sing? A, okay, if you wish, gonna, go ahead. Yeah, you have the calm. Let's hear it. <laughs> I was doing time in the universal mind. I was feeling fine. I was turning keys. I was setting people free. I was doing all right. Then you came along with a suitcase and a song. Turned my head around. Now I'm so alone, just looking for a home in every place I see. I'm the freedom man. You don't know how lucky I am. Name that tune in two notes. 
Purple tie rap. Ask me a question. <laughs> question is who sang that song besides did you ask me a question <laughs> you know we've got to be like one of the very few shows here at patriot soapbox that not only did we evolve into abusing our moderators now we are slowly evolving into abusing our callers <laughs> very terrible Practice to be abused by callers, as you may or may not know. Chano is my teacher, and I believe I'm acing the course. But the answer to that question is, who is Jim Morrison of the Doors? I was doing time in the Universal Mind. I was feeling fine, yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. Well, is if you had said, come on, baby, light my fire, fire, I might have been able to answer it. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Choctaw? Is that from his book of poetry? Oh, that's uh, he did that live, uh, the undead, uh, the undead album. Okay, all right, I'll have to check yeah. that out. Thanks for the tip off. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I, love yeah. <laughs> I, I love it, and uh, basically, that has been my theme song because that is exactly where I have been trapped my whole life wow. time in the universal mind. You do have a beautiful mind, brother. I can tell you that for sure. <laughs> it's hard to keep up sometimes. Yeah, and I, and, and you know what? That movie, A Beautiful Mind, it's like, oh, my God, somebody's been in my head. But the thing is, I did never accept that girl actually being in my life. Also, one other clue, uh, The Truman Show. If you read my book or you watch that video, Synchronicity, the Earth Code Beyond 3D, there was a moment in my life that only proved to me one thing, that I am Truman. Regardless of all of that, I am so looking forward to being a host whenever possible, whenever Chato gives me my, uh, uh, what, what's that called? Uh, not the degree, the, uh, the pasteboard oh. to put on my head. Your diploma. No, it's the pasteboard because people say, Bill, I can't see your point because you have a pasteboard on your head. I am so lost. Yeah, me too. <laughs> what the point are you talking about, bro? <laughs> oh, I, I see your point. That means they're joking about your pointy head. In my point, it's because I have the pasteboard on. You know, the, the, uh, the cap and gown, what is that called? Oh, okay, I got you now. Okay, mortarboard, excuse me. I didn't want to bring mortar into the conversation. I, I, I can move on because I, I'm sitting here hot, sweaty, nasty, and uh, you know, after a 10-mile bike ride, and uh, you know, at least you can't smell me. But yeah, that uh, as I said, the most important thing. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> I bet, I bet you two patches and raise your keychain. Anyway, the, the ultimate thing is, and I actually, I called, oh yeah, it was 412. And I mentioned that uh, I actually tweeted to Trump, and ex excuse my language, I actually tweeted to Trump, stop dicking around with China and barricade that wall. You will always have my support, but what if we don't have a country to support you from? So uh, other than the border and the children, yeah, the uh, Iranian thing right now, they're pushing for war, pushing for war, pushing for war. As I said, if the Iranian people are waiting for us to make a move to take them down uh, in cyber warfare or whatever, however we can do it, when we make our move, those good people in Iran are going to help take down their own house of cards. Agreed. Agreed, Mr. Purple Tie. Thank you for calling, brother. You got anything else for us? Just y'all stay safe and blessed the rest of the day and have a wacky Wednesday as I have. Trump Day. Blessed. Or AKA That's Third right. Monday. Wacky. There you go. All right, brother. Stay safe, uh, Mr. Burble Tie. Stay safe. Patriotsky, you get back to being healthier again. Oh man, I'm feeling I'm feeling fine. Thank you for calling, Mr. Burble Tie. We'll see you out there, brother. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it.